<clears throat> so when the Foresight Quad first came out, uh, it was a good opportunity to measure pitching in PGA Tour players for me. So I measured about 50 players, and it was about a 50 yard shot. So all I said to, was, to them was hit it 50 yards, imagine it's the middle of the green, and they all did it, you know, their way. What was interesting is, uh, from what I previously thought, the attack angle was steeper. So we're looking at, you know, from amongst the best pitchers, about seven to nine degrees downward attack angle. And the biggest surprise was how many swung out to the right. There's only like one or two that swung to the left. One was Brown and Grace, who was maybe 13 down and a few degrees to the left. And the other one was Justin Rose. And we'll still think that he did that one because he thought that was what I wanted to see. But everybody else who was a, a great pitcher of the ball, you know, tended to launch it at or just under 30 degrees, which, you know, for the human eye is a pretty low uh, pitch up. That gave them, uh, you know, the most amount of spin. Now, the interesting thing, the way we teach is there's different ways to do pitches for different styles, right? So different styles of golfers have different challenges with pitching. So we have side cover golfers who naturally hit down on the ball easily, um, but especially for somebody that changes from a, you know, a stronger grip to a weaker grip, what we tend to find is that they deliver too much loft. And so the ball kind of floats and they become inconsistent with their distance control. So for a side cover golfer, the easiest solution is, is to take less loft. So you pitch it 50 yards with your 56 degrees versus the 60. Because as you get steeper and steeper with the 60 with the loft, it's likely that it's gonna stick in the ground. The ball's still not really gonna penetrate in the way it should. Um, if you get too much loft, you, you go too far and the ball actually starts reducing its spin. It just launches high with, with less spin. Now the challenge for the under golfer, who generally would be a better mid-range pitcher, just because of their nature to swing out to the right and deliver uh, a little less loft. So ironically, more loft doesn't equal more spin. There's a point where it starts to diminish and under golfers have a, a much more natural way of hitting good pitch shots. So if you look at the great pitchers in history, you know, someone like Zach Johnson, you know, Lee Trevino, they drove their pitches in, but it was actually very easy for them relatively because they had that under grip. So I'm going to teach you two different ways to hit a pitch shot. One for a, a side cover golfer, so the attack angle easy. We control the loft simply by um, taking a 56 degree wedge. Another solution is to, is to grip it a little bit stronger, but I find that to be pretty unusable once you start to get to, you know, closer to a, a long shot. So here we go. So this is a this is me, the side cover pitch. Um, so I'm going to do all the things I do normally, which is, you know, make sure I, I keep the club face down a little bit in the backswing, feel a little bit side bend, and then I can just drive it in there because the 56 degree does that for me. So that's a pretty good shot. Oh, almost went in. Now I'm going to pretend I'm an under golfer. Now the under golfer doesn't struggle with loft, loft is compression. So the side cover golfer struggles to compress those pitches. They struggle with being steep enough, you know, because naturally somebody who's an under golfer would tend to be a little bit more shallow. So what we do is we, we pretend we're uh, Lee Trevino or Zach Johnson. So what does the under golfer do? They tend to, to rotate, elbow comes in front of the hip, and then they extend towards the target. So here we go. So what I'm gonna to do to be a better under golfer and guarantee that I hit down on the ball enough is open my stance. I'm going to take a little bit stronger grip here like I'm an under golfer. I'm going to rotate and extend. Pretty good too. Get in. Oh, even closer. Hope you can see those.